This is Eugene Hanrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Sony Vio VPCEH, Sony Vio VPCEH, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Sony Vio VPCEH. Now, uh, for Vio, then I'll make it easy for you to know what's the model number of the laptop. First of all, they have long sequences of letters and numbers, and then they have two different model systems, one on the top and one on the bottom, so you can go by either one. So let's first take a look where we find the model number. And most of the time, you see the model number in the lower right-hand corner, or if your computer's new, there's a palm rest. On the palm rest, there's a label with the model number. Okay, for this one, we see VPCEH, and that's it. This one is fairly simple. Sometimes they'll have VPCH and a bunch of letters and numbers after it, so you just need to know the five letters, VPCEH. Okay, before we do anything with a new laptop, we want to remove the battery. And the way you do that is flip it over. And there's two levers you have to slide. One releases it and one unlocks it. So when you slide this one up, it locks it. When you slide this one down, it unlocks it. Then you slide this one down to release and lift up the battery and you remove it. Okay, while we're on the bottom, bottom, and there's a second part number that Sony has. And uh, that one says, PCG-71913L, seven, PCG-71913L, so it can be confusing, but if you say VPCEH, that's probably the best thing. Okay, once we're back on top of the laptop, the first thing we need to do is remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, you have to remove four screws, two at the top, two on the bottom. And then there's some rubber covers that you have to remove to the screws. So before we start work, we're going to show you the tools that we need. Uh, we have three electronics screwdriver, screwdrivers. The first one is a PH1. PH stands for Phillips, and one is the size. Then we have a PH00 screwdriver, and that's a little bit smaller. And we also have a flathead screwdriver, two millimeter flathead screwdriver, but most likely we will not use that. Sometimes use that for HP laptops. Then we have an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife to remove rubber plastic or rubber covers from the screws. And we have a pair of sharp metal tweezers to remove any screws that are stuck. So we use our X-Acto knife to remove the rubber covers from the screws. And what I like to do is put it right next to the screw opening so that I don't lose it. And we do that for all four. Okay, there's two. And a three. Okay. Traffic was pretty horrible in Tucson today. My daughter was 20 minutes late to school for doing some construction on the highway. But anyway, so we're almost there. And I removed the fourth one. Okay, it looks like these screws have pretty small heads, so we use a PH00 screwdriver to remove the screws from the bezel. Okay, and it looks like this one doesn't want to come out, so we're going to use our metal tweezers to remove it. One. Either that, or I can use your fingernails to remove it too. Three and four. For each set of screws, I like to put them in a separate pile, and I keep the piles in the order in which they were removed, and this way it makes it easier to assemble the laptop. Again, I know which screws go where. 
Okay, now that you remove the screws, we snap the bezel off. The bezel is snaps on and off, and the way I like to do that is put my finger tips on the screen side and gently start lifting up the screen bezel. This one is coming off fairly easily. Sometimes it's more difficult. So what you do is, if you get stuck at a point, you go to a different place and snap it off at a different place. This one's coming off pretty well. So we keep going on the bottom, doing the same thing. And it comes off fairly easily. This is one of the easier ones. Yours might be a little bit difficult. If you uh, if yours is more difficult, just take your time on it and eventually it'll come off. This is probably the most difficult step in the whole procedure. So we put the bezel to the side. And for this type of screen, it's mounted on the sides with some screws to some metal mounting brackets. And in order to, you have to access the screws on the side, and sometimes there's a couple of tricks you need to do. So in order to access these screws, you need to tilt the screen assembly forward a little bit. But in this case, you can't tilt it forward enough to get to the bottom screw down here. So I have a trick for this. What I like to do is loosen but not remove the three hinge screws on each side. And this will allow you to tilt the screen forward more from the screen assembly and just enough to reach the screws at the bottom. So we're going to do that. Maybe a half a turn or a turn, just enough so I can tilt the screen forward. Now let's see if that's enough. Okay, that's barely enough so we can reach the screw at the bottom. And we'll start with the most difficult one. We'll remove it. And it's getting stuck on the plastic. So what I like to do is use the tweezers to remove the screw and start a separate pile for these screws. There's four screws on each side. So go one by one, and when you're doing this, make sure the screen is tilted back a little bit. So when you remove all the screws, the screen just doesn't fall forward on you. Okay, and what you saw there, this one is a little bit hard to get started. You really don't want to strip these screws, so when you start, start them up, use a little bit of force until you get them started, otherwise it's possible to strip these, and I've done that before, and it's no fun when you do that. I've pretty much made every mistake there's to make when changing laptop screens, and that's how you learn, learn from mistakes. So keep going. Uh, we need the tweezers to help us out with the bottom screw. Keep moving along. And just two more screws. By the way, it's uh, end of January in Tucson here, and the weather is in the 70s. Full, uh, full sun. So no rain, no snow, no nothing. All right, so once we remove all the screws, we start tilting the screen forward a little bit, and right away we see that the webcam cable has some adhesive that is stuck on the back of the screen, so we gently lift up this adhesive so we can put the screen down, and there's some more down here, and we put the screen down. Okay. Um, once the screen is down, there is only one connector for this type of screen, or LED screen, and we're going to remove it. There's some adhesive tape on top. We use our fingernail, hopefully that will work, to lift up the tape. And lift it up until you get to the cable. And sometimes there's adhesive on the back of the video cable. In this case, there isn't, but in many cases, there is. 
And once we grab the video cable, we just slide it back and disconnect the connector. All right, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector because that's the biggest source of trouble that I see. So what we do is when we reconnect it, we slide it in and make sure we feel two clicks. You won't hear them, but you'll feel them. And let's take a look what the connection looks like. Make sure, it's, well first we've got to make sure it's focused. Okay, pause the video right there and make sure your connection like, looks like this. Make sure there's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. So it's flush with each other and that's a good connection. Okay, so next we're going to remove the connector again and we'll take a look at this screen. It's a 15.6 inch LED screen. As of early 2012, this is the most common type of screens that goes on laptops, so you should not have trouble finding it. Let's look at the part number. It's N156BGE. That's all you need to know. N156BGE. Okay, uh, you can also order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and what you do is go to screensurgeons.com, you click on buy a screen, and then there will be a short form for you to fill out with the email and laptop model numbers, and we'll email you the link to buy the right screen online. And what you get with us is a compatibility guarantee. If we, the screen you ship is not compatible, we'll get you the right one. You also get free email technical support while you do the installation and a two-year warranty on the screen. And also, if you're outside the United States, uh, we ship pretty much all over the world and you can buy online from our shopping cart and there'll be options to ship to your country. Okay, in addition to the screen, uh, you can also buy the toolkit from us. This toolkit was especially picked out to replace laptop screens. You get all that you see here and the toolkit will be an option when you buy the screen online. Okay, when you do receive your screen, most likely it will not have the same model number because five or six different companies make the exact same screen, but the connector will be in the same place and it's an exact type, same type of connection. So what you do is you connect the connector like I showed you, then mount the screen back on on the metal mounting brackets, Put the four screws in, and this is very important before you snap the bezel on, is to tighten these screws at the bottom, so you don't want to forget that or you wear out your hinges. Then you put your bezel back on, snap it back on, put the four screws in, and put the rubber covers in, and you should be ready to go. All right, uh, that's it. My name is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.